<laughs> Je Jessica here came on the show back in April and made us laugh a lot. Mm -hmm. Am I right, Vicky? One person. You're right. <laughs> and uh, she told me she wants to, to be funny. I set the bar pretty low. I don't know. So, <laughs> <laughs> so everybody, Jessica here is going to entertain the world. Well, my name is Jessica Wood, as he said. Um, this is my first time doing stand-up, so if I suck, start sweating, or shit, or piss my pants, just, it's okay, don't worry about it. Well, I don't know you guys, you guys don't know me, so I figured I'd give you guys some little random factoids about myself. Um, I guess number one, I'm a crazy cat lady in training, it's the shirt. Um, I made it myself, yes. Um, I don't know if you saw the clip from when I was on Lee's show back in April, but making biscuits, which is written here, <laughs> above my butt, it makes sense. Um, it's like an inside joke about the cool people. But with being a crazy cat lady in training, um, there's a hazing phase that everyone has to go through. And with that, just crazy cat stuff has to happen to you. So one of my many, many, many stories, I was laying in bed, It was this was a, I lived in Tulsa. Um, I'd just gotten my cats, I've had them for, I don't know, the first two. <laughs> I had them for, I don't know, a few months, so they were old enough to know what's what, but I was still kind of a new cat lady, so I really didn't know what was going on. And uh, I was laying in bed on a Sunday morning after working like a 40 billion hour work week, and um, laying there, just relaxing, having a good time, dreaming about, I don't know, Johnny Depp or something. Oh, and, uh, yeah, hey, 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 yes. And then I start feeling a cat walking up my bed. I'm like, oh, he wants to make biscuits, which is where they do the kneading thing. Yes. Oh, yes, thank you. So make it, you know, I was like, oh, he wants to make biscuits and cuddle and be all cute and kitty-like. No, it wasn't really the case. I woke up because I heard something going on and I opened my eyes and there's a cat's ass in my face <laughs> and he's peeing. Yeah, it was disgusting. You should have been there. Peeing on my hair which is running into my pillow, down my sheets, onto my little pull-out couch. So he's peeing, not stopping, and it finally takes me a second, I realize what the hell is going on. So I pick him up under his little, cute little cat belly, and I just lob him across my apartment, <laughs> thinking, hey, that'll solve the problem. But no, 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 he's still continuing to pee, making like a little rainbow, golden shower, just everywhere. Yeah, there's cat piss all over my apartment, and if you know cats, cat pee really does not smell awesome, and uh, he wound up being the cat that would, if the litter box was a little too dirty, he would get in it and kind of scoop around and stick his ass over the side of it and just go to town. And just, I know, he was a douchebag. Um, just poop right outside or pee right outside. It was terrible. So that was his way of telling me, hey mom, there's too much shit and piss in there, you need to clean that out. So that's how I learned you need to clean the litter box more than once every two or three weeks. So, <laughs> so random factoid number two is I hate feet. Which is really ironic because I like kitty cat paws, you know, if they're like poopy paws, you know. Yeah, they're so cute and furry. But when it comes to people feet, I absolutely abhor them. I can't, I think they're disgusting, maybe I'm going to throw up. Um, I can't stand feet around me, feet touching me. Feet in general, not my thing. And uh, baby feet are still gross. Because, I mean, I think of like adult feet like having midget fingers as toes or something. And it's just like I'm good to come out and grab me, <laughs> scoot me under the bed, and just have their way with me. I don't know. It makes me nervous. So, um, so I've, I've been that way for a long time. I haven't liked feet ever. And um, in high school, people kind of find out about it, found out about it, and thought it was like a huge joke, and just thought it was so funny, and would always try to stick their nasty, dirty feet on me. I know, it was, I'm getting nauseated thinking about it. But um, it was our senior all-nighter. Our senior all-nighter, night before we graduated, and we went to some arcade, and like came back, and they had bouncy houses, bounce houses set up. I was like, oh my god, awesome. And but you had to get in a sumo suit to get into the bouncy house. Yeah. So. My best friend and I, we got in our sumo suits, we're ready to rumble, I was blue, she was red. I was like, let's do this, let's go. So we get in there, we're bouncing, having fun, you know, whatever, bouncing into each other, bouncing off the walls, and so I land on my back. I'm like, okay, cool, so I start to try to roll up, but I'm in this huge suit and I can't do anything. My hands are barely sticking out and my legs are sticking out of the bottom and I can't do anything, so I'm asking for help. So a few people come in there and uh, 
we're all laughing, having a grand time, and then I feel someone start brushing my hair, and I'm on my back, so my hair is just like out behind me. Oh, interesting, and somehow I managed to get one little sumo arm back there, and I felt a leg and an ankle. I was like, oh my god, that is someone's foot touching my hair, which okay, at first I was like, not that bad, it's hair, hair's dead, it's not going to get on me, you know, and I was like, wait, I think I can, I, I can manage, and so I start, you know, I just can't breathe, I can't do anything, and then out of nowhere, some sick-ass, nasty hobbit toe foot, hobbit toe, toe, in my mouth. I know, I would have said the same thing, but I had his toe in my mouth, and, uh, um, <laughs> He ran cross country, wore flip flops all the time, a hipster kid, so he's probably not the cleanest person in the whole world. But that didn't really make me very happy. So here I am with this toe in my mouth. People are laughing. I have a foot behind me. I'm starting to sweat, starting to like hyperventilate because I can't breathe because I feel like I'm going to gag on his toe. It's going to go to my throat and like kill me. And because uh, I imagine just like his toe just like disconnecting. Anybody see the thing? You know how it like breaks into like a million pieces and it can like go down your throat. Anyway. <laughs> So that's all going through my head while I start like gagging on his toe. And uh, it's like, not sexy though. People are like, oh, a foot fetish. Yeah. I'm like, no, it was not hot. I promise. Because here I am, sweating and everything like that. And I start crying. And then people finally realize, oh shit, she's real. She's legit. She does not like feet. And so they let me up. They got me up and got me out of there. And I went outside and like heaved a lot because I was just thinking about it. And like I, there was hair on the toe. And it was just, I don't know, just so many little details that just. I know, I get it, it flashes when I dream and I freak out, wake up and just like start puking. Um, which kind of leads into my third factoid, which is I have a really weak stomach. I don't know if you guys watched the clip from the last show I was on. Let me get a drink of water first. Sorry. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Bring yeah. yeah. that water. Bring the shit out of that water. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> um, my story I told on Lee's. Um, last taping was about the screw in my foot and how I passed out in front of some people. It's, it wasn't funny. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I had a screw in my foot, I passed out, and I was on a, on a job, so it was really embarrassing. But this one, um, I used to teach swim lessons when I lived in Tulsa, and so I was, I had a student, he was, I don't know, between six and eight, I don't remember, but it was a private lesson. We were doing what we call Humpty Dumpty, which is where they sit on the side and just kind of fall into you, and you're like, oh yay, Humpty Dumpty. Kids love it. He was doing that, and when he was crawling out, I noticed there was like, I don't know, I thought it was like a birthmark on his back. It was brown. I was like, okay, that's new. Where did it come from? Well, he did it again, and when he crawled out, it's like, oh, it's kind of oozing. I wonder, it's moving around. What is that? <laughs> well, being the really naive person that I was at the time, we did Humpty Dumpty again. And they were kind of standing in the shallow end, and all of a sudden, a cloud forms around him. <laughs> it forms around me. I take a big whiff in, because that's what I like to do, I like to breathe, and uh, it's poop. He had diarrhea id, if that's a word. Yeah, oh, it was disgusting. All over, it was just, it was floating. So I got him out of the pool, got me out of the pool. I was starting to gag, because I could really smell it since we were out of the pool, not so much chlorine in the air. He, <laughs> I was trying to tell everybody to get out of the pool while I was gagging, so it didn't come out very well, but then... He decided to take his pants off, his shorts and his underoos, which were covered in, in the poop. And uh, yeah, poop is sexy. And uh, um, so he decided to do that, got butt naked in front of students, parents, the whole nine yards. Di just it was it was every I've never seen so much in my entire life out of one little kid that's like the size of you know a teddy bear, and um, all over him, all over my swimsuit. And he decided to take off and just haul ass and just run around the deck. So I'm trying to chase him while I'm like on the verge of throwing up. And his parents come out there and siblings and then <laughs> scare me to death. But he was running and he slipped and he fell on his back onto a little rubber mat. And more came out, which was always exciting. Yeah, it was, and we had to close the pool. We had to close the pool down for like 30 minutes to clean it all up and to get everybody checked and. By that time, I was in the bathroom puking my guts up, so, but I think that is all that I have, all the time that I have right now, but I appreciate your time. Thank you so much.
everybody.